and we're seeing you. Terry, I'm back at you with another video. We finally, finally have another fun animal facts. And for this one, I've montaged seven of my previous videos together to bring you facts about animals you would find on an African safari. And this one is all about giraffes. And yes, I know giraffes don't live in North America where I'm shooting this. They only live in the African savanna. But I'm going to try a new editing style and use some related images, so it'll all be fine. There are four different subspecies of giraffe. The southern giraffe, the northern giraffe, the Maasai giraffe, and the reticulated giraffe. Giraffes are social animals that live in groups known as towers. Each tower contains approximately 15 giraffes and is led by a dominant male. Male giraffes are known as bulls, females, which patches are cows, and the babies are calves. Male giraffes will lick a female's urine to test whether or not they are fertile. And once a female giraffe has given birth, the baby will drop 1.5 meters straight to the ground since giraffes give birth standing up. But the babies don't seem to be in any harm because they're walking within 30 minutes. Giraffes are herbivores, which means that they only eat plants, such as the leaves on tall acacia trees, which is why me and Patches went up a tree. They will also eat up to 66 pounds or 45 kilograms of food in a single day. Giraffes will only drink water every few days because they can get the majority of the liquid they need from the leaves they eat. Giraffe tongues are 20 inches long, which helps them to reach those super high up acacia leaves, and they're also black, which supposedly helps to prevent sunburn. Giraffes have the same number of vertebrae in their neck as humans do, which is seven. The difference is the size of that vertebrae. They are 11 inches long, and when the neck is combined with the rest of the body and the skull, it can weigh 600 pounds. Giraffes can grow up to 20 feet tall, which is equivalent to standing two basketball nets, one on top of the other. Giraffes have enormous hearts, and I mean that literally. They are two feet long and 25 pounds in weight. They also have eight foot long tails. The hair covered horns on top of a giraffe's head, which you can see here on patches close up, are called ossic horns. When two male giraffes fight each other with their heads and necks, this is known as necking. But it's not dangerous because eventually one giraffe will just give up and leave. Over short distances, a giraffe's top running speed is 35 miles per hour. And this time I'm teaching you all about elephants. Male elephants are called bulls and the females are known as cows. Elephants live in a family group called a herd. Each herd has 25 different elephants and is led by a female. There are three different species of elephant, the African forest elephant, the African savanna elephant, and the Asian elephant. You can figure out where they live based on their name. When male elephants have heightened testosterone levels and are aggressive to other bulls, that is called must. They are seeking to dominate their surroundings and mate with a female. This can last for a month at a time. Female giraffes are pregnant for 22 months at a time. Once the babies are born, they are 120 kilograms and blind. They can stand up after 20 minutes and they're walking within an hour. The baby elephants are big because elephants themselves are big. They are the largest land mammal. Males are 2 meters high and 7,500 kilograms in weight. Their brain is 5 kilograms, their eyelashes are 5 inches long, and their skin is 2.5 centimeters thick. Compared to a human, our skin is only four millimeters thick. Elephants eat for 16 hours of the day, totaling 150 kilograms of food. They eat grass, plants, and fruit, but they especially love bananas. Elephants use their trunk for drinking and can store up to eight liters of water in it, which is good because they drink 60 gallons a day. An elephant's tusks are technically teeth, and they appear when the elephant is two years old. They help with feeding and as defense when they're fighting. Elephants are great swimmers and they use their 400 pound trunks like a snorkel underwater. Also, they can get sunburned. And this time I'm teaching you all about warthogs. As you can see, I do have a warthog friend, so let me introduce you to Boris. There are two different species of warthogs. The common warthog lives in the Sub-Sahara and the desert warthog lives in northern Kenya Ethiopia and Somalia. 
These warthogs are part of the swine family with pigs and hogs. Male warthogs, which Boris is, are boars, females are sows, and their babies are piglets. They are social, non-territorial animals that live in groups known as sounders. Each sounder contains up to 40 warthogs. Warthogs live and sleep in holes dug by other animals such as aardvarks and porcupines. Warthogs are considered cooperative breeders, which means that females will nurse piglets that have lost their litter. It's not their baby, but they will still take care of it. Each litter contains two to four piglets at a time, and when a mother is going into a hole with their babies, the babies will go in first, and then the mother will go in backwards and last, so that her tusks can protect against predators. Their tusks, which you can see close up here on Boris, are extremely sharp. They are used to dig solid soil, defend against predators, and fight rivals. A warthog's diet mainly consists of dry grass, roots, bark, berries, and bulbs, but as they are technically omnivores, they will sometimes scavenge for meat. The predators, or animals that would eat a warthog, are lions, leopards, cheetahs, hyenas, wild dogs, and crocodiles. Vervet monkeys and mongoose often groom warthogs and remove any ticks that are in their skin. Warthogs love wallowing in the mud. It regulates their temperature and it also protects their skin from the sun. The mud acts as a natural sunscreen. Last but not least, warthogs can live up to 17 years. And this time I'm teaching you all about lions. Lions are part of the big cat family with tigers, cheetahs, leopards, jaguars, and cougars. Female lions are known as lionesses and the babies are known as cubs, but they also sometimes go by whelps or linets. You can tell a male from a female because only males have the big manes. There are eight different species of lion, the Barbary lion, the Asiatic lion, the West African lion, the Maasai lion, the Congo lion, the Southwest African lion, the Transversal lion, and the Ethiopian lion. These lions live in sub-Saharan Africa, in savannas and grasslands. They live in groups of 30 to 40 lions known as prides. Female lions will stay in the pride for their entire life, but males leave either by choice or by eviction after four years. The new males that join the pride will kill any and all existing cubs so that future babies carry their genes instead. Female lions birth two to three cubs per litter after a four month pregnancy, and all the females in the pride give birth around the same time so that any lioness can nurse any cub, even if it's not technically hers. Lions are carnivores, which means they only eat meat, such as zebra, deer, wildebeest, and hyena. Lionesses are the ones that do all the hunting. In the dark and in groups of three, they stalk and surround their prey until they can attack to kill it. Lions can survive for four days without water. They're also super lazy and sleep for 16 to 20 hours per day. A lion's roar can be heard from 8 kilometers or 5 miles away. They can also run at a top speed of 81 kilometers per hour. I am going to teach you all about zebras. Zebras live together in herds known as a dazzle or a zeal. These herds are made up of a male, several female, and the young. And these zebras have really strong bonds. Even if the male dies or leaves, all the females and young will stay together. Zebras live in eastern and southern Africa on treeless grasslands or savanna woodlands. There are three different species of zebra, the plains zebra, the mountain zebra, and the grevy's zebra. The grevy zebra is named after Jules Grevy, a 19th century French president who received one as a gift. Zebras are herbivores and the main food of their diet is grass. They use their sharp front teeth to bite it and their duller back molars to grind it. This constant gnawing wears down their teeth, so they keep growing for the zebra's entire lifespan. A zebra's main predators are lions, hyenas, leopards, and cheetahs. Zebras are able to defend themselves by kicking, biting, and pushing. If one zebra is attacked, the others will form a circle around that zebra to help ward off the predator. They can also run away at up to 55 miles per hour, and the babies, or foals, can run within a few hours of being born. 
baby zebras are kept away from other foals for three days while the mother gets used to its unique scent, voice, and appearance. And speaking of unique, every single zebra has different stripes. They're all unique and separate like the fingerprints of a human. Zebras groom each other. When they stand close together and look as though they're biting each other, they're actually pulling loose hairs off of each other. They also sleep standing up. I am teaching you all about rhinoceroses. The word rhinoceros comes from the Greek language. Rhino means nose and surus means horn. So basically the name means nose horn. There are five different species of rhinoceros. Three are Asian and two are African. The Asian ones are Greater One-Horned, Samudrian, and Javan. The African ones are Black and White. However, these Black and White rhinos are actually the same color, and that color is pretty much a grayish brown. Male rhinoceroses are bulls, females are cows, and babies are calves. A group of rhinos all together is a crash. Female rhinos give birth to one calf at a time after a 16-month pregnancy. The male also leaves right after mating, so females raise the young by themselves. The closest living relatives of rhinoceros are horses, tapirs, and zebras. A rhino's horns are made from carotene, which is the same protein as human fingernails. The biggest rhinos can weigh up to 3,500 kilograms, which is equivalent to roughly 30 adult men. Despite their massive size, rhinos are actually herbivores, their main diet consists of leaves and grass. Rhinoceroses take mud baths to help them cool off on hot days and to ward off biting insects. Rhinos can produce up to 50 pounds of poop in a single day, and when they smell each other's poo, they instantly know the age, gender, and reproductive status of the rhino that left it. Male rhinos can spray their urine over 16 feet while in the presence of other males or breeding-aged females. Also, their farts smell like sulfur, and if you don't know what that means, just think rotten egg smell. I'm teaching you all about hippopotamuses. The word hippopotamus comes from the ancient Greek for river horse. Hippos are the third largest land animal. They can weigh up to 3,200 kilograms. That's equivalent to three cars. Hippos mainly live in Africa in groups known as a bloat a pod, or a herd. These groups are made up of 20 different hippos led by a dominant male. In large groups, hippos making their various noises all together can be as loud as 115 decibels. Female hippos, or cows, give birth to one baby every two years. Hippos don't actually swim. They sink to the very bottom and then run along it. They can also hold their breath underwater for five minutes. Even when they're sleeping, they automatically come up to the surface without waking. Hippos sweat an oily red liquid that protects their skin from drying out and also acts like a sunscreen on hot days. Hippos are most active at night when they forage for food, and this food is majority grass since they are herbivores. They can eat up to 40 kilograms in a single night. Their main predators are crocodiles, lions, and hyenas. That wraps up our fun animal facts video. If you enjoyed our African safari montage, please drop a like down below. And while you're there, you can also subscribe if you're on already, so you never miss any of our future content. Check us out on social media, always linked in the description. And lastly, you can please head to our website. There are fun stories to read and cute outfits to purchase. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.